Hi, good evening. This is Alan Knight 345. Welcome to my next walkthrough. Uncharted 1, or Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This game is pretty it's pretty good. I mean, it's got some flaws, but overall it's a good game. Nothing that I can really complain about. Out of the three games I said, uh, Halo 1, Uncharted 1, Metroid Prime, this one got the most votes, so I'm doing this one. So we're gonna do a new game. Yeah, I'm gonna do New game. Keep it show, yeah, sure, why not? Normal. New save data. I am here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. Well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, L1 to how aim, I want to shoot, or here. you can just blind fire. You can just tap oh, all one. Did you, you can tap want? circle to, uh, uh how you gonna cover. I nice think about this game is almost any, practically anything is cover. Yeah, hit hit the uh, red barrels on the boat so we can just blow them up. Let's use the, the oh, no. Fast and Furious combo. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, the melee in this game is a little tricky. Like one of the other combos is uh you gotta tap square, triangle, square. But you gotta time the strikes like a second apart. It takes a little while to get used to. Yeah, brutal combo, you gotta... I'm a little rusty. There we go. But yeah, if you do the brutal combo on an enemy, their weapon will have uh, double the ammo. So if you're low on ammo, try doing that. With his ass. Oh. oh sh! Whoa! No, no, don't die already. I just started. Oh shit! No. Control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher, flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? before we attract any more attention. Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. 
Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Should have seen that one coming. Oh. All right, we just dished her ass. <laughs> so now, chapter two oh. of the search for El Dorado. Hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit. Equally as strenuous. Yeah, he's got to use a Viagra. <laughs> well, <laughs> hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. This reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century on top of his car? <laughs> oh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was. Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Come on, man. Move. So just walk this way. And just walk straight forward. You know, I'll leave my toes you can explore. Oh, by the way, uh, this is not a 100% treasure walkthrough, so... If you, like, say, Oh, you missed a treasure back there, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care. I mean, if you want to point it out to me, yeah, sure, go ahead, but I'm not going to, like, go pick it up. Well? I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. <sighs> this is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Yeah, one thing about Victor Sullivan is that he says goddamn a lot. <laughs> This is more like it. So we came to our first climbing puzzle. It's really fucking easy. Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh. Yeah, I say it's really fucking easy. Now I am goddamn lost. Uh, shit. Where do I start this stupid ass puzzle? Oh, there we go. Right over there. Oh yeah, every now and then I might get lost. I've only beaten this game twice, so I really don't know my way around very well. So please forgive me if I get lost. Nothing yet. Be careful up there. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. So we gotta make that tree fall, right? This tree here make it fall, basically. I forget how to do it, though. Oh, did you just jump over? Or, mm. Where do I, I think I go around this way. 